Wonder Twin Powers Activate. Gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Kevin Samuels, a style godfather. And guys, today is a special day. Today I talk about probably the best rose fragrance on the planet, in my opinion. You guys know I love rose, amber, and oud, and I am always down to smell a great rose fragrance. I love Portrait of a Lady, but that's a rose patchouli. Lipstick rose from them, but that's a little bit more powdery. I love Oon Rose. All these are from Frederick Mall because it's probably was the closest thing I had come to a realistic rose. I love Rose 31 by La Lobo, Bay Rose by La Lobo. I have all of these fragrances. And I gotta tell you, believe it or not, Jo Malone Red Roses is, is the most underrated rose fragrance in my opinion on the market. One of the greenest crisp rose out there, but guys, when you're actually trying to find a photorealistic rose, Louis Vuitton has taken the cake. Shout out to the CIA. Guys, if you want to become part of the movement, do me a favor, join us on Patreon for exclusive video and live stream content that will only be visible there. Details down in the description. They have taken the cake with this one right here, Louis Vuitton La Salle La Rose. Guys, this is fantastic. Now hold on, before we get started, I know some of you really anal retentive guys are gonna say, well, wait a minute, this is marketed to women. Understand something, guys, I don't care what Fragrantica or Base Note says. Does it smell good? Does it work on your skin? Stop being so hung up on what somebody on a website that you don't know said. Try it. And I will tell you guys that I've actually tested this out extensively before I bought it because I wanted to be sure. If you're lucky enough for your local Louis Vuitton boutique to carry a scent, to carry these fragrances, maybe they'll have a sample and you can actually put your nose on it. Me, I tested it for three months before I went and bottled it and I will tell you, it is my favorite rose on the planet. Now, just like its counterpart, Ombre Nomad, this comes in a 100 ml and a 200 ml formulation. The 100 ml, they're not giving it away. It is $330 and the 200 ml is $450. But I will tell you this, it is freaking fantastic. The good thing about these is if you actually go through your juice, you can actually send it in to get it refilled by, from Louis Vuitton for around $250. I don't normally do the whole packaging thing, guys. When you get something like this, it's special. There is the container that it comes in. did it for me in this fragrance guys I gotta tell you when after I bought ombre nomad I loved that one because it actually reminded me of things I've smelled before I just knew it was a great deep beast mode of a rose oud fragrance I knew I had to have this one but this one it took me a little time to get used to it because it is such a photo realistic rose I would spray it on the back of my hands on my neck and every time I walked out of Louis Vuitton I had women saying, oh my God, my God, who is that? I had women ask me, I had couples ask me. Every time I wore this fragrance, I had several samples of it. And everywhere I went, whether it was in Atlanta, Oklahoma, California, didn't really matter. People keyed on this. This was the most popular fragrance I had been wearing over the last several months. To the point to where I just said, I have to buy it. I'll actually leave a, a note breakdown down in the description, but I will tell you as far as the C3PO system, compliment factor, this is an amazingly complimented fragrance. I'm telling you, I've got some of the most over the top reactions from beautiful women wearing this fragrance. It smells sophisticated. It smells like a modern guy. Don't be twisted because it's marketed to women. It's actually stronger on the rose and less on the oud side. So amazing compliments, performance, a solid six to eight hours plus, which really sold me on it. This thing lasts forever. Projection, two to three feet. It projects about two, three feet. It stays, but it stays projecting for about three or four hours. But the sillage, the flavor trail, goes on for three feet plus. When you walk and it catches the wind in outdoors or even inside walking around, people know. People know, and it's like, wow, I've never smelled anything like that before. The style personality I can see pulling this off, 
Guys, believe it or not, this is definitely gonna be much more of that player flirt or that boss bad, that boss bad boy kind of thing. Because in my opinion, on masculine skin, this becomes a powerful masculine rose, which is oxy, which is ironic. You wear this in an ironic kind of way, and it just does things for people. Trust me, guys. This is my favorite, most photorealistic rose fragrance on the planet. That's saying something for me. If you like what I like and believe what I believe, if you like Portrait of a Lady, New York Oud, Ombre No Man, you know, Oud Rose, anything along those lines, Rose 31, trust me, guys. At least try this one out. I don't tell people to blind buy, especially at this level, but I can tell you this, you won't be disappointed. And hell, even if you are, you have no problem selling it on the open market. These things don't come up for sale often. You'll be able to put this up and get your money back in no time. As a matter of fact, when I looked out on the market, especially on eBay or something like that, they're selling the 100 ml version for $400. They're selling it for more money because they are so hard to get their hands on. Might not be a bad business to get into. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.